What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. In today's video, we are gonna be installing an LSK DIY cage on my 2019 YXZ, so stay tuned. Here she is, this is my 2019 YXZ-1000R. Um, I've done a lot of mods to it. Um, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe down below and uh, check out my other videos because I have a whole list of videos and I've done a ton of stuff uh, basically from the time I bought it until now. Uh, it's been a little bit over a year and now I'm finally going to install the cage, which a lot of people say, hey, you know, you need a cage first thing, harnesses, blah, 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 blah. But I've come to the uh, point, now I'm going to actually do the cage. I've never rolled it, I've never, uh, well, I can't say that I've never almost rolled it. I've almost rolled it a couple times, but uh, yeah. So let's go ahead, check out the cage it's sitting over in that box right over here. This is what it looks like when it shows up. I have it all opened up and it comes in pieces. It's really not all that heavy, came via FedEx. And uh, here's all the pieces, and it's pretty much plug and play. If you're a welder, I mean, uh, it's pretty simple. Now, if you look at this piece here, you can see it comes notched, coped, and everything. And then, like, look on here. It even comes with little notches in the cage so that you know where each piece goes. And then it also comes with the uh, bungs that actually attach to the machine. So I actually picked this cage up from FastLab. So uh, here's a shout out for FastLab. But uh, I bought it on sale. Uh, I believe it was 15, 20% off. I don't know, how, I, I don't remember. Uh, actually it was 10%, but FastLab.com. And uh, you can also pick it up from the LSK guys. And uh, But if you order it from FastLab, they send you two of these tabs for uh, whips or flags or whatever you wanna put on it. But that's it's made for a flag but they also include that as like a little bonus from ordering it from them. Now, the cool thing is, is that by ordering it from FastLab, I actually got that discount. Um, if you went to the actual LSK website, they were not running the promotion, so it was actually beneficial to go to FastLab.com. Alex just showed up, jackpot. Hey, I have some gold for you. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you. You come to help me, yeah. I give you teepee. Yeah. Hard to come by now. It's a good currency, right? Yeah, it is nowadays. Look at those tires, though. Sick. <laughs> We have everything disconnected that uh, we need disconnected and we're gonna just leave it all on the actual cage. But all the wires, we got all the wires, the harness is taken care of. The rear fenders are off now. You'll need to take the rear fenders off so that you can be able to weld this part of the cage here. But that's pretty much all you have to take off body wise. But uh, we're starting to pull the bolts. So there's bolts here, there's two here, two here, there's one that goes here and then on the opposite side, and then there's two here on the and then on the other side also. So we have all the bolts off. It's pretty much ready to go except for the last one. We have this one. It's pretty much in there and tight, like it's, it's in there. So we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do there. But besides that, we'll be able to lift it up and uh, take it off. Just to give you a little bit of uh, an idea of what this took to do all of this, it's only been 45 minutes to get this to this point. That's me and Alex. So if Alex wasn't here, I'd probably do it in about 15 minutes. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just kidding. So we got that out. It was actually pretty easy. What we used was a drift pin. Just put the drift pin in through here, whack that thing out. And now I think it's gonna come out fairly easily. As we're trying to take this off now, the main issue is there's pressure. So I think what it is is the uh, chassis is actually squeezed outward. So what we're gonna try and do, and hopefully this works, 
uh, take a ratchet strap and tie it from here to there and kind of squeeze it in and then we should be able to pop this off or pop it right out in theory so let's see if that works So the first step we're going to do is we have the, uh, I don't know what you call them, bungs, I guess you call them. We're going to go ahead and put these and attach them to the machine on all the corners, bolt them up because this is going to be where our, our uh, starting point is. So here, here, the two in the middle and then the two in the back and then we can start setting up the tubing. Eventually. All right, so we have all six of these put on, and uh, if you notice, I didn't really, I didn't tighten them. I just have them, the bolts in there so that it's easily movable, so that uh, when we're fitting up the main hoops, it's not a pain in the ass to fit this thing up. So we're gonna grab the uh, main hoops, put them in here, and uh, see how this is gonna come together. Here we go, looking from the front, we got the two main hoops on. Now, the way we know is it's, if you look, well, you can't see there, but on this side, we have the etched hole here, which will be for the crossbar. And then we also have this hole right here, which will come down and go to this bar here. So here we have the rear roof bar that goes across and uh, what we did was we just use a ratchet strap to hold this together. Now uh, you can tell, see how the notches there are on the front side of this bar because now the middle loop bar is going to go from here to there. So those notches will line up with that bar there. So now we'll do the front bar. And then uh, as you notice, we're just holding everything together with ratchet straps and we're not tacking anything because we still got to square it up and make sure everything's level and appeasing to the eyes. And uh, I'm excited. I'm pretty excited about this. So a little update. What we did was we put the uh, front bar in and then we just use the ratchet strap to hold it in tight this way. And then we put the center bar in, just matching it with the uh, marks, the holes that it has here. And then now what we're gonna do is, uh, it's not straight in there right now, but what we'll do is we'll measure with a measuring tape, get that in the center. But before I start tacking it up, I'm gonna measure from here to here to here, make sure this is square and uh, yeah, so I don't want it all crooked and everything. But there we go. It's coming together, starting to look like a cage. We got Alex over here starting to fit up the sides. We're gonna figure those out next. Okay, here we go with the side. Nice notch there. If we just show you, there's the notch. Lines up right there. Boo yeah. That side. So it's, it's a little loose, but we'll figure that out once we start tacking things up. That's about better. Yeah, a lot better now. They will fold themselves. It kind of holds it all in place. Yep, so now we're getting a little more. It's starting to look like a cave again. Damn. No more convertible. No more convertible, dude. It looks pretty sick. All right, so now before I start getting too far, I'm going to start squaring stuff up and uh, making sure everything is straight and then start tacking some stuff in place so that we can uh, start taking off some of these ratchet straps. And uh, yeah, then once we tack up the top and make sure everything is straight, then we'll start working on the front uh, 
what do they call it the quad catcher on the front windshield here um, and uh, we do have the harness bar in the back but it's just sitting there it's not actually in place yet All right, so we have it tacked together. We have the front kind of situated, the back I started on, but now what we're gonna do is now we're going to try and uh, work on the harness bar, and then there's crossbars that come right here that now we're gonna work on. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, start working on that. All right, so fitting in the harness bar, uh, we needed about a quarter inch more. Uh, so we just used a ratchet strap to squeeze it up, and we got it tight here now. So uh, we just kind of centered it within the bung right here, about a quarter inch here and a quarter inch there. And then now we can put the back sides in there. And then this piece will go right in here like this, just like that. And then kind of go right in the corner of the bung and the side piece. And we'll be set. I'm so stoked on this, it's gonna be sick. And there we go, we have the back tacked up. We got the back bars with the uh, harness bar in there. She's looking pretty dope. Sick. Now, we're going to add the front quad catcher and the lower bar, and then we'll be ready to weld this thing up. So quick explanation of what we uh, fiddle fucked around with. This is a little bit difficult to get it all situated and everything, but as you saw, I'll put a ratchet strap here and here, which tighten that up. And then we have a ratchet strap across here to kind of bring it together. And then now what I did was I tacked the one side once we had those two bars in there, and then that was stationary and then measured from here to here to get the length of that and then matched it with that. So now that's even there. And then now we're gonna look and then measure from there to there to get our lengths for the bars so that we can make sure our bars are perfectly nice and square in there and looking good. There we go, we got everything tacked up. It's all ready to go, ready to weld. It's looking pretty badass. Now the only thing that I, I guess I can't say that it's completely all tacked up because there are gussets that go from here to here and then there's a gusset that goes from here to here now I won't add those gussets until I've welded everything else because if you add the gusset here you won't be able to get in here to weld very well so I'll weld this up then I'll put the gusset inside here and then weld that up and same with right in here but other than that this thing is fitted up and ready to be welded uh, we started at 1030 and uh, it is now 2.30, it's Thanksgiving, so we've had a little bit of, you know, stuff going in between. So maybe take out another half an hour of that. So that gives us, how how long is that? That's uh, about four hours, three and a half hours to get it to this point. That's taking everything off and uh, fitting it all together. Time to weld. So it is the next day and uh, as you can see I spent a little bit of time I didn't film it but uh, I got the light bar mounted up you can take a look I just used some inch and a half flat bar it's a 3 16 flat bar but just welded that up there looking good now pretty much oh let's just take a little walk around the, the cage so you guys can check it out but uh, really, really liking how it turned out. Now really, all I really need to do now is just to add 
uh, some mounts for my flag or lighted whips or whatever you're going to use. But I got the uh, two free uh, mounts from Fast Lab that goes right up here in the top. Let's see if I can find those. Oh, here they are. These mounts right here. So what this is, is this will just mount right here in the corner here. Booyah. And then I'll be able to put my lighted whips. I got four foot lighted whips that will go right here. Those were uh, actually sponsored from uh, Nylite. I'll put a link down below for those. They're four foot whips. They're freaking awesome. But uh, I'll be able to put those right there. Then I'm also going to um, do my own mounts out of that same flat bar that I used on the uh, light bar. I'll go ahead and uh, put probably something right here and right here so that I could run dual flags. And uh, after that, she's ready for paint. One eternity later. All right, guys, here it is. I've been working on it um, off camera. I wasn't recording because I'm just painting it and I put the roof on. And uh, pretty much all I have to do is uh, put the light bar on. It's already wired up. I just got to put that on. I got to get some extra bolts. And then she's all buttoned up. Now, if you're wondering what I painted this with, um, I actually painted it in place and I just masked everything off and uh, used blankets and stuff. But uh, all I did was I used this VHT roll bar and chassis paint. Went on pretty good. I did get a little bit of fish eyes in it because uh, when I painted it, it was only like 42 degrees outside. But for uh, $8 a can, I think it turned out pretty good. So now the reason why I did this and didn't do powder coating is just in case I want to add anything and maybe in a year uh, once I figure out everything that I want on the welded on the cage or anything like that it's all finalized and everything uh, I'll probably do some powder coating but there you go I really hope this video helped you because when I looked there's uh, some videos that are doing cages but they don't actually do kind of like a step by step like this so it's a little more in depth hopefully it helps you out um, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Please, please, please. It helps me out a lot. And uh, make sure you check out the links down below. I'll put a link to the cage. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. Uh, it's just a video that I wanted to make about installing the cage because I didn't see very many videos out there. So make sure you hit the thumbs up. And I want to say thanks for joining me. And uh, check out that Patreon page, you know, down below, link down below. And uh, help a brother out. Anyways, thanks for joining me. Peace out. Bye, guys. Here we go, time for cage number three.